Welcome back everyone to another Tower of Fantasy video. We've got some better news to go through, so let's get cracking. So first of all, Nanying is likely going to be the next playable character for the altered realm of characters. She will likely be arriving after Ling Han. Now this is sourced by Aphrodite, but it's pretty much on the money considering she is now due for a rerun. Now we have heard that future altered characters may be coming at an unorthodox time and they won't be following that two cycle uh, rotation, but that is still a rumor. But as of right now, Nanying is supposed to be the next character coming. Now, we also want a bit of information on the Jade Pavilion Lantern Fest. For those of you that are taking part in the web event, just know it is impossible to complete the web event. Impossible. The developers are aware of it. Uh, they have been notified. My assumption is they're just going to give everyone the rewards. This is another event that they seem to have monumentally messed up. Next up is, of course, little Mia, and she's getting an awesome new costume. I actually really like this one, and I actually really want it. I find it really adorable. I like the little kind of, I don't even know, it's almost like a little birdie with a hat. I can't really tell, but it looks great, and I really want it. But when we will get it, who knows? But that is currently on the cards. Now... For those of you that are struggling with the raid boss, the new one for the Jade event, just know that on August the 22nd, the difficulty of this will be reduced. However, there is a catch to that. On August the 22nd, when the difficulty is reduced, the title for completing this challenge on, you know, challenge difficulty will be gone. So if you want that title, make sure you complete it before August the 22nd, or you will lose the ability to gain it. This is only for those really that actually care about title. Now, this one is completely and utterly out there. There is no confirmed source. There's no one actually claiming this. The source is pretty much question mark, question mark, question mark. But GU apparently in some form is playable as of right now. So it could be, this is tinfoil latting here, that they're going to release two altered characters at the same time when... Nanying drops, we can get GU as well. That would be pretty damn impressive if you ask me. But, you know, we've seen nothing for this character. So who knows? We'll see how that goes out, how that develops. But as of right now, that is all the information we have about GU. I'm really looking forward to GU. So personally, that would be absolutely amazing for me. For those of you that are interested in the closed beta testing for Mimi, the link to that application is in the description below. If you're interested, you need to be 18 years of age or over. You will be required to sign an NDA. And the application deadline is on the 17th of August, 4 a.m. GMT. Closed beta will run for approximately four days. Testers can receive up to 3,000 Dark Crystal. I assume that's based on how much you're going to contribute towards bugs and information. Finally, we have the Starry Cruise event that's coming up. Again, this is a paid event. This one will require you to do a total of 15 pulls to get either the character costumes, which I think actually look pretty decent. They are in game as well right now. Or the mount, which is again in the game. You'll be able to get some red nuclear, some shards for accessories, uh, profile stuff, a hair, and of course, a vehicle and an actual outfit. This starts on August 16th, so for the UK, probably it's going to be August 17th and end on August 24th, UK 25. Now, because this is a main character outfit and not a simulacrum outfit, it should be a lot cheaper than the simulacrum ones. These usually go for about £50. So for those of you that are interested that like this outfit, go for it. And well, that's pretty much all we have for this video. Again, just going to reiterate with the Jade Pavilion, tr still continue to hand in the points, the daily logins, but just know that it is impossible to get to the maximum and they are aware of it. So we'll find out soon what they're going to do. The last thing you want to do is just drop off the event and then they turn around and say, well, we're going to do it based on the percentage of the event you completed and therefore you'll miss out on some rewards. But I'm hoping they're going to give everyone the reward because it is broken. Right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.